Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my second video in my M416 Overlane trailer build series. Now in the first video, you saw me build a trailer hitch on the back of the trailer. So in this video, I'm going to be addressing the tongue and the hitch that's currently on the trailer. Now the original pintle style hitch is long gone. It actually has a dropped typical ball receiver on it right now. We're going to get rid of all that. We're going to extend the tongue. That way I can open up the swing gate on the Jeep and have clearance while the trailer is attached. And then we're also gonna get rid of the ball hitch and put on a articulating off-road style hitch. As far as the hitch, I decided to go with the lock and roll hitch. I really like this piece, it has great reviews and after talking to a few people that have ran it, it with great success, I decided to give this one a try as well. Now I went with the extended tongue option that way, plus I have the adjustable height, just to have a little more versatility with dialing in the, the tongue height of the trailer. And also that's gonna pull it, the hitch away from the Jeep and the spare tire and give me a little more flexibility with tuning in the actual tongue length as well. Now this thing is really cool. It is just super beefy and it has a nice pivot up at the front of the tongue of the trailer. And this is gonna slide into the hitch on the vehicle side. So it's gonna drop down in and then these pins will slide over and pivot. And then you have another pin that'll go through all these and lock it in place. And this has full articulation as well. So this way you're gonna have no binding whatsoever with this trailer hitch. So it's gonna be great for this off-road type trailer versus your standard ball hitch. So. But first, we're gonna do the tongue extension. Now this is the tongue extension kit I got from Compact Camping Concepts. This is a pretty slick piece. This is allows you to bolt this in place of where the original tongue um, is and uses two of the existing holes and then you have to drill out two more holes to bolt this in place. And it also comes with a new receiver tube. I'm hoping this is gonna be long enough. I'm gonna have to get it all mocked up put the hitch on the Jeep, back it up, and I wanna make sure I can have enough clearance for open the swing gate, but it has a hole drilled in it already for here. Um, we can uh, use a pin through here, or I don't know, I'm on the fence, I might wanna weld this up solid, just so it's all nice and tight. And I also ordered a new uh, safety cable kit. I wanna get rid of the chains that were on it. Those were pretty rough and rusty, and this will be a nice option. We have the hardware to bolt this in place, and also comes with uh, some new hardware for the safety chains as well. So, so overall, this looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. Um, what we need to do first, though, is get the original tongue and all that mess out of the trailer. So here's the situation that I'm working with. We got to get all this off. The original pintle hitch is gone and then replaced and modified with this drop hitch. And uh, but to get this piece out, we need to support the trailer because. The landing leg is all attached up in here. So I'm going to support the trailer and then we'll figure out what we need to unbolt to get all of this out of the way. And wouldn't you know, my jack is not tall enough, but uh, I think I have a solution for that. So I made these wheel cribs for my car when I was working on it to get the car up off the ground, but I wanted the car on the wheels and tires. And they worked out great, but they've been sitting collecting dust for a long time. But I think I can use it today. All right, so I just put the jack in the center of my wheel crib and supporting it on that front little angle iron. There's not a lot of tongue weight, and that's uh, and that's uh, pretty stable. He'll be fine, I think, for this project. So now we can uh, run these bolts out and get all this out of the way. And there's one. like the head of that bolt is right on the edge of that aim that C channel and can't get a socket on that one. Oh boy. All right, 
that's two. Man, when they paint over those bolts, you can't even back them off by hand when they're loose. I hate it. Man, that last bolt was all gacked up. I don't know. It was not happy, not wanting to come out. It was wanting to be permanent, but uh, with the punch and the big hammer, we did end up getting it out. All right, so this big bolt here and nut is 15 16 So let's see if this is going to fight us or not. Oh, that was actually scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course, this bolt's all painted too, so it's not coming off real easy, but we're getting. This is all unbolted and free now, but the way it sits in and surrounded by the C channels, it, it, I think these uh, these are going to have to come out a little bit just to kind of release it. Um, I can't go back with it, at least not very much, until it hits you know this lip. But I need to get it out from these lips on, on this bracket because it goes above and below it you know surrounds it so i'm gonna get this thing off and get this out of the way and i can be using that little uh cover for the electrical we're gonna get that off and then we're gonna see if we can wiggle this thing back any further right now it's hitting that piece so um, but i think we're gonna have to unbolt these loosen up these u-bolts maybe try to spread these out a little bit we'll see all right, to make things a little easier, I undid the other U-bolt, and I think that'll give us a, just enough wiggle room to get this out. Oh. Oh, All right, that did it. Wow, okay. Now we can see what we're working with. All right, so I ran the bolts through, but I had a little bit, bit of an issue even getting this piece in. I don't know if you can notice anything that's kind of off or not quite right, but uh, yeah, you tell me. Now I had my suspicions while I was underneath the trailer and trying to get um, the front tongue out and all that bracketry out. You know, things didn't quite look, let's say, original. So I'm pretty sure these have been replaced along the way, and that definitely confirms it. I've seen some pictures online where these should be shorter and just the hole in the cut for this bracket or this uh, rail should be much closer to the hole. So that just means I'm gonna have to get my cutoff wheel and remove probably about an inch or so off these front C channels so I can get this bracket even to fit properly. All right, let's get to it. I didn't need off these uh, C channels. No, it fits up good, but now I have to drill the two extra holes that aren't there. So I'm going to re remove this again, do some layouts because it's kind of hard to transfer the holes from the inside onto this. It's really, don't know how I can do that. But i uh, going to do some a layout on the outside, get the holes needed, and then I can bolt this thing up. All right, all the holes are drilled out. Again, just like putting in the rear hitch. Man, took a while just to drill four holes, but you know, moving up a couple of drill sizes at a time is, is the key and just using some coolant. But now let's see if everything lines up. All right, one side's done. It look good. All right, last bolt. Nice. So what I'm working at now is not my kid's science project, but I want to add a tongue box to the trailer and I haven't bought one yet. I'm still undecided about the size. I know I want one fairly shallow, about 15 inches and the widths are commonly 34 or 30. So I figured I'll just do a little cardboard template. That way I can put it on the trailer and it'll help me size my tongue accordingly and also let me get a good idea of how big this tongue box is going to be. 
I'm gonna apologize already. I'm starting not feeling the greatest. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit, but yeah, stuff you deal with. And it seems like I always get some type of bug in the winter. I don't feel horrible, but I don't sound too great. All right, so I think this will do it for now. So that'll give me a little bit of a footprint. We can go put that on the trailer and take a look and also get our tongue length figured out. All right, so this one is 34 by 16 by 15. And it kind of gives me an idea. I think that would fit right about there. You know, overall, I think I like that size. You know, at first I thought a 30 inch would be plenty, but then I started looking at a larger battery and it's gonna fill it up fast. Plus you add a few other components and I think this 34 will fit pretty good. Follow the lines of the trailer and I think I'll uh, have enough room up in the corner for my, <clears throat> for my post for my rack. So I think that'll be fine. But anyway, more importantly, I wanna to try to figure out my depth, so. All right, so now it's time to get the Jeep backed up and get all this figured out. All right, all right so now I just wanna to try to get everything in line and Put this portion on the top. I'm gonna have to strap that down. Let's just see how close we are. Oh wow. That's that essentially would fall in and it actually just needs to move out a quarter of an inch for it to line up with the pinhole if I was to use it that way. So with that being said, let's just leave it like that and see if this will open up right now. Oh yeah, this is what you know. I was wanting to check, see if this tongue length was going to be long enough. I didn't think it would be, and it will be. You know, mainly because we have that extension. If we didn't have that extension, that'd be up the creek, really. And uh, but man, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. So this is going to work now. Great. I was already planning and scheming that I was going to have to go buy some longer tube stock and drill it all out and do something else but this will work so happy cool <clears throat> you know after thinking about this overnight i kind of came to the conclusion that i didn't want to just use a pin to secure you know the tongue tube into this bracket it's not the tightest fit which is expected and i just didn't want it you know wobbling around making noise and plus, it, you know, I could obviously put a lock on, on a pin and it would be secure, but, but I really just want a more solid connection. And then I thought, well, why don't I just weld it to this front face, which I could do. But again, not being really snug and tight in here, I really want to be able to weld it on the back end as well. So there's not a lot of stress on that weld. So I just decided, what the heck, went to my local material supplier, picked up some two inch square tubing that's longer so I can weld it in the front edge as well as the back edge. So that's what we're going to do. But now I just have to transfer some holes. I'm not going to transfer this hole because I'm not going to use a pin. Uh, we'll probably just weld that hole up. But what I do need to do is transfer these two holes, which is for the cable kit. Um, instead, I'm not going to use safety chains. I'm going to use uh, the cables that came with um, this part. And then I need to transfer two holes through there for the hitch. So we have some more drilling to do. Fun. All right, the holes are all done for the hitch as well as the safety chain bracket. I didn't quite realize it when I was drilling it, but uh, I thought there would be a little overlap issue. So let's, uh, with this nut on the inside, maybe hitting, interfering with this bolt. So let's double check everything. And all right, we're good. It clears. So, all right. Looks like it does clear and pass through. So we have enough 
space. I just want to make sure we didn't have any interference issue. So that looks great. That's going to be awesome. And I also put a little chamfer on the tongue tube there just so it kind of sits a little further up because there's a big weld on the inside of that feature. Now the next thing I need to do is basically prep this and mark it for my welding. So, so we need to weld it here, right? So we need to get the wire wheel, get that all nice and clean on the front as well as the back edge. So we'll have some good area to fill in and uh, I think that should work out pretty well. You know, I was thinking about this overnight and I thought about, you know, why not just make a couple plates to block the front and the back of the tongue off. That way I can weld those on and then this whole thing will be sealed up. Because as it is right now, any dirt, rain, mud elements can get into the tongue, especially from the back. You know, I'll have the, the hitch obviously bolted on up here and there will still be a little bit of gap. So I thought, you know. It's gonna be powder coated, but you won't really be able to get the powder all the way into it, and it will still be able to like rust or whatnot. So I thought, you know, so I just made a couple little black off plates, one for the front and one for the back. Just wire wheeled those, and we're just gonna weld those on the front and back and seal it all up nice, and that way, get it back from powder, and once we have this all bolted in, it'll be, be all uh, enclosed, right? You won't be able to get any water in it, so that'll be cool, I like it. All right, it's all done and the ends are sealed up now. Um, it was definitely a little harder because that metal I welded on was much thinner than obviously the rest of the tube. So had a few holes, I had to go back in and kind of build on top of the welds and then ground it down, polish it up a little bit. But now this is all ready for a powder coat and I'm pretty much calling it done. So now what I'm gonna do is just do a quick final assembly. All right, it's not really final because I'm gonna, once I'm all done with the whole Fabrication work, come spring, I'm gonna strip it all down and get it through the paint and work and any powder coating. But for now, I wanna do the assembly and check how it all fits together. Now, now, I don't know if the hitch didn't come with these through bolts, I don't remember, or maybe I lost them, but I only have one that'll work, but that's fine for now. The main thing is just checking, making sure all the holes line up. And the tongue's bouncing around right now because I have the U-bolts pulled out. Those are nasty, so I'm trying to source some maybe stainless ones. So don't mind that right now. Alright, sir. Right. Yeah. Alright, well that's not final assembly because like I said, it's all gonna get stripped apart. Once I'm all done with the build and powder coat and paint and finish it all up finally, but uh, I'm gonna open up the door and take a good look at this thing in some natural light, but uh, yeah, but cool. Well, there she is, got some natural light with the door open now, and uh, man, I am really happy with it, you know? I think uh, this is gonna work great. I'm really digging this hitch. It is ultra beefy, and that's gonna be exactly what I was looking for, and uh, and before I get too much hate, you know, I'm not a welder. I do weld a little bit, but um, 
I'm happy with that, and that's going to be really strong, I think. Um, yeah, and I definitely like not using the pen. It's all sealed up. It's going to be tight. The tongue won't be rattling, and it's going to be really, really secure. So I like the fact that I closed off the back as well as the front. That's all sealed up, and um, you know I have it to my perfect length that I was looking for. So let's grab that. Uh, let's grab the old template again. Put this back in place. It's going to go right about in there. There's the center line of the tongue. Yeah, so that's what basically she's going to look like or could look like all based on what tongue box I decide to go to. But that'll probably be something I do in the next video. So I want to do the tongue box probably next and then figure out a tongue jack situation solution for up front as well. So yeah, that is cool. She's making progress and what a big difference for you know going to this route versus what I had before. Like I said, man, it was all what a mess. Anybody wants this, hit me up. I'll give you a good deal on it if you're in the Michigan area. <laughs> I don't want that anymore. But anyway, yeah, nice. One project done, one step closer. Well, that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And the tongue project for now is all complete before we can finish it up with the tongue box and the tongue jack. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And you know if you turn on the bell notification, you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.